Hello and welcome to another video of this Microsoft Power BI do-it-yourself tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about DAX, a very brief introduction to DAX. DAX are data analytics expression. So data analysis expressions, we're going to continue using the PBIX file, which we used in the previous video. And this was the file and we added following columns in this visualization. There are two types of calculations in DAX, calculation, calculated columns and calculated measures. There is a difference between these two. First of all, let's see how they are created. This is the calculated column and this is the calculated measure. So the difference between the calculated columns and calculated measures is that one of them which is the calculated columns are created during the time of data load. That means during the refresh of the data. It is stored in as part of the data table here. So it is stored here and this new column which is the calculated column is created during the refresh of the data. However, new measure is created on the fly. It's not stored in the as part of data model, but it's created based on the context of the visualizations. I know it's been a bit confusing at this point in time, but trust me, as and when we go, the things would get clearer. So in order to make it more simple, let's start with creating a new column. So you can see here that it's quantity, let me just, so it's quantity and unit cost, unit price. I'm going to create sales price, which is the total sales, which is gonna be quantity multiplied by unit price. Then I'm going to create cost, which is gonna be quantity multiplied by unit cost. So these are the two calculated columns, which I'm gonna create in the F sales table. So go to the data tab, and make sure that F sales table is selected and I'm going to create this new column. Now the syntax of a DAX calculation is very simple. The column name equal to and the function or calculation. I'm going to say sales equals quantity so you will say F sales quantity multiplied by F sales unit price. You can see that the sales column is available now here. It's quantity multiplied by price, which is 10,000 and so on and so forth. Now let's do the same kind, similar kind of a calculation for cost. So go to the data tab, select F sales, and then create a calculated column, and this is what we did. Now let's select or create another column, which is the cost. The cost would be unit cost into multiplied by quantity. Let's create a new column. I'm gonna see cost. Please notice that this is the table name and the column name. Table name and the column name multiplied by, again, the table name and the column name. Please note that the calculated column is at the current row level. What I mean by this is, for each row, this calculation is calculating the value of a product between price or quantity, price and quantity, or unit cost and quantity for cost. So this is what it, it is sales. Oh, I should not be saying sales here. I would say cost, unit cost. So it's gonna be unit cost 
by multiplied by quantity. So remember a calculated column is at the row level, current row level always. It's one by one. Each row it's calculating based on that particular rows quantity and cost or quantity or price. All right, so let's do a few more calculations here. Add sales cost and sales and cost which we just created onto the same table in the visualization as we have all these columns already. So go back in here, go here, you would see the sales and the cost available. I'm going to select sales and I'm going to select cost and you can see that the values are correct. Wonderful. Now I'm going to move to the next level which is we create one more calculation. I'm going to create a calculation which is going to be sales to cost ratio and that's going to be sales which we created earlier divided by cost. So let's go back in here, go back to data, new column and I'm going to say cost and F underscore sales, sales. And, oops, I need to get rid of this. There you go. So now it's coming correctly here, right? Uh, 1000 divided by 1000 is 1, 4000 divided by close to 2000 is 2, 1.955. This is coming correctly. Let's go add this sales to cost, cost ratio in here. So sales to cost ratio. There you go. So if you look at it, it's really not correct in many cases. In some cases it is because that's the date sale. But if I get rid of sales date, let me do this here. Uh, there you go. So now the sales to cost ratio is not correct. If you look at it, it's 6,000 divided by 5326 is not 6.20. It should be close to one. Let's do a calculation here. So using a calculator, you would see that 6083 divided by 5326 should be around 1.14, but it's coming as 6.20. This is happening because the sales to cost ratio was created as a calculated column, and it was it is summing up all the ratios, please understand this. It's summing up all the ratios at the row level. That means here. It's summing up all the ratios here and then it's coming up to be as six point something, 6.20, but the actual value should be 1.14. And that is where we need to use the calculated measure. So adding sales to cost ratio does not look right. For the ratios, you would need to create a calculated measure. Please understand again, one more time, why is it not coming correctly? The sales and the cost were created by a multiplication and that was correct. You multiply and add it up. So these two were created using a multiplication formula and you just multiplied these two columns and add it up. But when you say ratio, it's doing a ratio of these two columns and then adding it up, doing the same process. Multiply and add it up, roll up. And here it's dividing and rolling up, which is not we want. What we want really is to sum all the sales up and then sum all the cost up and then do a division. And in order to avoid this, we are gonna do new measures in the next video. So in the next set of videos, we're gonna focus on measure calculation index, but for now, do the following exercises. I'm sorry about the numbering here. So let's do the following exercises. 
So DIY 21, create a calculated column for gross profit, which is gonna be sales minus cost. Now this is a subtraction. Then create a line chart depicting sales, cost, and profit. And you use your uh, discretion and make the dashboard look better. Hands-on DIY 22, you're gonna download the file, the access, MS Access file from this Google Drive location. Use the same PBIX file which was used for F shipment in the previous set of videos, which you have been created as a hands-on. Then create a calendar table using DAX, which we did in the previous video. And then create a calculated column for shipment price, which is gonna be unit price multiplied by quantity. So this is the set of hands-on exercises which, you, which will put you at par to this video. Thank you for watching.